Deke doesn't use vanadium plating? Oh, that's a shame. Sir, we've encountered some small groups of flying zerg, but we can't locate the hive. This whole job stinks. P.S. If you could clear the area near that wreck to the north, I can join you. Okay. Oh, oh, it's this base over here that's, like, impossible to take. I like that. All right, let's go. All right, boys. We can't risk the contagion cool. to this camp. I want a perimeter I'm going mech. And some bunkers in place now. I'm going Heli and Goliath. You going sweet on that I'm going sweet on that doctor. Can't see why else we'd keep fighting for these damn dirt farmers. Is that... Dirt's kind of tasty. Maybe that's why we're fighting nest. for them. You better destroy it. Start getting a couple of these. I'm never sure where to build my bunkers on this mission. I wonder if building them farther back is good. Like, what if I do them right here so that the enemy has to come around the bend and ends up in more of a line? That's actually an interesting idea. I have no idea if it's good. And then... I'll just full wall off this area and leave a little bit of a gap on this side. Oh, wait. I'll full wall off this area and leave a little bit of a gap on this side. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You here, you here. <laughs> we got two rebel auto turrets. That's all they brought this time. Oh no. Hey, at least they got the missile turret and auto turret up here, too. Firebat. Two Marines. And two medics go this side, two medics go that side. I don't know, I'm just declaring that this works. But two Marines in here. We're going to get the range upgrade for the Marines because, of course, that upgrade is amazing. Even though we're not really going for infantry besides defensively, I think that that's fine. Yeah, I actually kind of like this position. Just forcing them to string themselves out like a giant undead noodle is very powerful. If you've ever fought undead noodles before, you know they're pretty weak, right? So... This is exactly what we're going for. That's going to be in Dark Souls 4, is the Undead Noodle. And lift you here. Oh, wait, no. We'll go here and here for our tech lab and reactor. And we should get another factory for free, so we don't have to think about that. That's fine. Just gonna believe. I mean, it is a Shrike turret, right? Like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna let anyone through. Oh yeah, here's the race cars. Hey, hot chat. I got schematics to build them Hellions you saw in Marsara. Should be good down there. We build a lot of race cars. And an armory. Upgrade complete. So now these marines have bonus range, which means they're going to be absolutely incredible. And we're just going to build a lot of hellions for a while until we can... Until we have the gas to build some goliaths to go with them. Because I heard air units and I'm not going to forget about that. Also here and... Here. Add on complete. Is one SCV enough? Yeah, I guess it is. You're going to be bait over here. All right, as Senator Mario once said, let's go. Bringing everybody out. And I might as well get plus one attack on my... Infantry, just to make the defense a little bit better. Do we go regenerative biosteel today? Is this the is this a regenerative biosteel type of run? What do you guys think? It's pretty bad. 
You won't notice it. It's not one of the funny upgrades because it doesn't actually make you happy or laugh. You just kind of don't notice that it exists. Oh, it goes with vanadium plating. That is not true, but yeah. I mean, I guess we can make it go with vanadium plating. They don't really have any synergy whatsoever. It's perfect. We are going to get our first vanadium plating upgrade, though. Alright, so we're going to get our ally his little basey base, right? Hopefully this is a good little placey place. I want to make sure he has time to actually build stuff up, so I'm trying to do this quickly, but unfortunately... Hellion Firebat is not actually a speed like clearing composition. Clear Better move on to the next one. All right, here he comes. Oh, we got a new email from Hyperion. Sir, our sensors have detected a colonist transport heading your way. Don't know what it means, but they're not responding. All right. I know what that means. It means it's factory time. What's going on? Yeah, it means colonist friends are on the way. It's a surprise visit from our favorite colonists. You gonna give me orders? You should set some guards. One, two, be coming again soon. three. Oh, that's too many. And a pair, a pair. Scans are picking up a unique Zerg biosignature. Perfect. It to be a burrowing creature that is underground during the day. We need to kill these medics at some point. Sir. You're just a waste of, of supply. Stedman can study it and perhaps learn 8, something. 16, 24. I don't like this is not this is not a problem with the mod maker. What aggro refugees? I love refugees. Hey. Apparently Tasha's goons are aggro refugees, and I have What no! I didn't mean to land him! I <laughs> just loaded him back in! Well, there he goes. Oh, uh, allies are being attacked. I'm in a heap of trouble. That should keep this area safe as you build up. Invested <laughs> sent him back home. I don't care for that notion one bit. Well, everything seems to be going really nicely. Let's get some defenses in the back. Just in case. Not that there'd ever be any operations or something on this mission. And the supply limit is really making me concerned because of how much supply it takes to defend. Hmm. The 100 cap is just not very high, particularly when our ally on this mission is almost done building a barracks. I kind of wish these just were property of the ally, honestly. I should have I put them back on the transport. Sent them back home. It's okay, they'll die at some point. The tide of fate is inexorable. Also get rid of these. There we go. That's more supply. Probably... Yeah. Take some guys off gas at this point. Get some more Hellions, and... Do these guys cost supply? Oh, they don't! They're free! Well, that's good. <laughs> that means the guy that's off the map is not going to take up a supply forever. This is exciting. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Does anyone remember Daybreak? What a map that was. There was that area behind the minerals where you could cannon rush. And I think it was like the most prolifically played map in Wings of Liberty. Despite the fact that it was like completely average. But I guess that's why it was played so much. Is it was just really an average map. Inoffensive. Don't forget. You have to be back by dark. How you doing bud? Have you managed to build some stuff up? Not really. Get him. 
So this time he's willing to attack. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if he does some sort of analysis where you ping the area and if there's too many enemies, he's like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that, chief. But if there aren't enough enemies, then he's like, yeah, that's fine. So he's seeing these buildings as non-hostile threats. And that's why the AI is okay with it. Oh, these are the rebels. These are Tosh. Sorry, I got confused because I have Deke right here. Why does he do 9 plus 9 damage? What a legend. Oh, that means I... Wait. Does that mean that these guys, who I don't have control over, just happen to go exactly where I told them to the moment that I told them to? Huh. <laughs> well then. That was... <laughs> that was convenient timing. This is how conspiracy th theories start, by the way. <laughs> like... <laughs> That felt a little conspiratorial right there. Oh, Tosh, your goons gotta come. Okay, we have the colony ship here. They really should just put auto turrets on the Hercules. I don't know why they never thought of that. Get that guy to repair. I have a million dollars and not much to do with it, honestly. The supply blocked is a tough life. Let's go. Let's go burn this guy. Ah, Hellions aren't very good. <laughs> uh, is Grant from Grant Plays Games going to be at BlizzCon? I mean, is StarCraft going to be at BlizzCon? I think that's the fair answer. They gotta remember the game exists. Who wants some? Armed and ready. No, it's not a probably not. It's a no, it objectively is not going to be a BlizzCon. They just forgot about it. But uh, if anybody is looking for a BlizzCon substitute as a StarCraft enjoyer, remember that Pig is running his uh, StarFest thing at that time, which is going to be just a little celebration for the community. From the people who actually care. Because he's a legend. He go this way. I mean, Microcon? Wait, is it called Microcon now? I thought it was called Starcon. <laughs> Whoops. Is Blizzard going to be at BlizzCon? I hope not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, you guys excited for Microsoft Con? Brought to you by Honkai Star Rail? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, because none of the words make any sense. I'm sure it does in context of the video game. Honk eye. Okay, so it's like what a goose does and then an eyeball and then a star and then a rail. Yeah, that's normal. That makes sense. Thank you. My ally sure sucks here. Just throwing that out there. He's not doing anything. Also, where's my friend? What is that thing? I want D. Was it human? Thought he was going to be a wild man, clearing everything out, and it turns out that my ally is not the best on this one. Deke's area is still blocked. I thought he asked me to clean up the area in the north. Is this the area that his base is supposed to be in? Uh, oh. I instantly thought it was this, and then... Okay. I thought that once this base was captured, I had done all the north stuff. That's well, fine. Gives me something to do. 
Maybe I'm just gonna die here. Okay. Let's go deal with this. It's the perfect timing, actually, because it'll give him three minutes to set up, which is nice. This guy really could have used that at the beginning. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. Alright, got fire bats. We got medics. We got fire bats. I don't know what you said you borrowed, bud, but it doesn't look that impressive so far. <laughs> He stole a command center. You guys ever just steal someone's command center and take it for a joyride? Alright, let's roasty toasty this area. I kind of like the Hellions because most of the time you accidentally kill the investors. There we go. You don't have to be cool, like, with the Vanguard skill shots or whatever. You just, uh, kind of have them there and it works most of the time. Okay. We kind of annihilated that. Wow. Oh! Infernal Flamethrower 11 plus 20 versus Biological. Now we're talking, okay, flamethrowers are a little bit better than normal. Good to see. That's actually a pretty big change. That means I can kill the Marauder kill teams with fire, or with uh, Hellions. That seems like a good investment of time and resources on the mission that doesn't give you many time nor resources. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Why? Why is this what you're doing? It's not... It's not good. It's not what you're supposed to be doing. Also, where are these enemy flyers that I was told about? There's like a turret over here. I built some turrets over here. I literally went goliaths because I was afraid of them. I'm... A little bamboozled. But I guess... Did I tell him to build? Oh, was it my fault? Sorry. Yeah, strike turrets. If only the plus two range upgrade on the Marines also worked for strike turrets, then it would be the perfect upgrade. Guys here. Aliens over here. Uh oh, aberrations. If only we did bonus damage versus biological. Oh yeah. The Hawaiian is pretty good. Not good enough that I'm gonna like get upgrades for it or anything. That would be that would be a little bit dumb. But <laughs> Good enough that I'm not going to lose the mission. <laughs> is under attack. That is the most economic devastation from a one infested or er, one infested Terran that has ever happened. The boy pulled his entire mineral line to go repair that instead of sending one marine to go help out or a fire bat. Uh, at least he's got, <laughs> he's got some medevacs. They're so, I mean, it's working. <laughs> that might be the most upsetting part of this all is that his defensive strategy is absolutely without a doubt working. <laughs> it goes against everything that I stand for as a player, but you know what? Deke don't care. And any good boss is going to let his employee just do what works. This boy is working. <sighs> this is so stupid. Shrek 
strike turret. That's all you need. Mineral field depleted. Yeah, I guess he only has a couple mineral fields. He's not doing well on economy, so he's trying. <laughs> it's not like he lost saturation there. I was wrong. Are the aberrations on this mission shorter than normal? They might be. They kind of look short. I could be wrong. I'm not actually sure. Let's find some infested areas to clear. We're done, right? By the numbers, Here. Boys. Go attack that area. I already cleared it out for you. No, I can't send him minerals in any way. Unfortunately. He's got to learn to economy on his own. Oh, he's doing another one. Ah, yes. Now he's got a bunker and a medevac. The iconic Terran combo for defense. Go ahead. I'm like mining out here because this is so slow to clear. This is why you go Reapers on this mission. Because we would have been done 10 minutes ago, but I wanted to see how the Hellion was. And we learned about his bonus versus biological, which is nice. It does give me information for later. Oh, he's doing it. Hey. Like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. Thank you. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. Folk. It's still not that fast at killing the sunk, but... Yeah. Take him down. You're almost done. There's just a handful of infested bio signs left. I'll highlight their locations on your map. A nice line, and we should be done. What if we tell him to attack this guy? Does he do it? Nightfall in 30 seconds. Are you going to war? We'll do. Yeah, we'll try it on another mission. I don't want to wait for it. 99% chance he doesn't, so. I feel like they didn't add a treason button to the AI. <laughs> Did it, Jim. <laughs> but we'll try to execute Order 66 on the next one. Now I've got to get my people somewhere safe. Where next? Thank you guys for the subs, by the way. Really appreciate them. Ooh, Planetary Fortress Perdition Turret. Yeah, do we get Solendus if we kill the Doctor? That is actually a very interesting thing to think about. And then Perdition is interesting as well. Hmm. Plus 10 versus Light. Doubles the width of the flame. Yeah, that's not really worth it. Yeah, whatever. Get some Reaper upgrades. I'm just... It's it's bad decision mistakey time. 